chapter 17, there was a man of the hill country of Ephraim, whose name was Micah. He said to his mother, the 1100 pieces of silver that were taken from you, about which you uttered a curse, and also spoke it in my ears. Behold, the silver is with me, I took it. His mother said, may Yahweh bless my son. He restored the 1100 pieces of silver to his mother. Then his mother said, I most certainly dedicate the silver to Yahweh from my hand for my son to make a carved image and a molten image. Now therefore I will restore it to you. When he restored the money to his mother, his mother took 200 pieces of silver and gave them to the silversmith. He made a carved image and a molten image out of it. It was in the house of Micah. The man Micah had a house of gods, and he made an ephod and teraphim, and consecrated one of his sons, who became his priest. In those days there was no king in Israel. Everyone did that which was right in his own eyes. There was a young man out of Bethlehem, Judah, of the family of Judah, who was a Levite, and he lived there. The man departed out of the city, out of Bethlehem, Judah, to live where he could find a place. And he came to the hill country of Ephraim, to the house of Micah, as he traveled. Micah said to him, Where did you come from? He said to him, I am a Levite of Bethlehem, Judah, and I am looking for a place to live. Micah said to him, Dwell with me, and be to me a father and a priest, and I will give you ten pieces of silver per year, a suit of clothing, and your food. So the Levite went in. The Levi was content to dwell with the man, and the young man was to him as one of his sons. Micah consecrated the Levite, and the young man became his priest, and was in the house of Micah. And Micah said, Now I know that Yahweh will do good to me, since I have a Levite as my priest, 